My name is Jimmy Henchman of Zar Entertainment. The Henchman is a name that deals with some kind of dark side. People have taken henchmen to mean different things. So I kind of felt in order for me to, to get away from that whole thing, I would change the name. And I did my research on what Tsar meant. And Tsar is a Russian emperor or Russian king or ruler. And I felt that that was something appropriate for the amount of years that I've been in the music business that I would become a music czar. When you have great artists like Game and you come out with different things like Infamous Time and stuff like that, it became more popular in the streets. A friend of mine's daddy had a guy by the name of R. Kelly, of course, an MGM and public announcement. We did a birthday party for Five Five Freddy. And of course, with Fat Five Freddy having Yo MTV Raps at the time, it brought in other people from MTV. So from there, we end up doing the How Can I Be Down conference. Um, from there, I went on to become a manager for producers. My first hit was Shoot for Salt and Pepper, and the rest was really history. There's so many people that is involved in your success. Shaquem, Barry Hankerson, Kadar, Kadar, you know, gave me a deal over at Motown, in which I put out the Bulletproof Love and the Sharissa album on. And um, you got guys like Barry Hankerson who allowed me to work closely with him with Aaliyah and executive produce two great soundtracks, Romeo Must Die and Exit Wound. The thing about the music industry is that it isn't a bias industry. You're judged by your ear and you're judged by the, the, the music that you put out there. I, I try to treat everybody the same because I don't know who the next Tupac really is going to be. And I don't know who the next Biggie or 50 or even the next game is going to be. 50 Cent the Rapper, he'll be known as 50 Cent the Rapper and 50, 50 Cent the Street Legend will be known as 50 Cent the Street Legend. Um, there's no ca comparison. To me, that's a great honor to know that I knew that person who influenced that. I'm not living the fantasy of the music business. I need to keep firm on the ground because I don't know when I'm going to be banned from this game. And I think me being in that, that pivotal situation has allowed me to sustain, even after doing five years in jail, has allowed me to sustain my situation as it is. This is Jimmy Henchman and I'm bossing up with Blow Magazine.